Hi and welcome to Atwani CMS. Today in this video we will be installing um, the CMS from scratch. Um, here I already pre-made the, the line. You can see that also in the website. It's very straightforward. Just use this composer and let's make this run. And while we're waiting for this to happen, um, I want to take a second to talk about the fact that uh, people got a little confused because there's no public folder in the installation. Uh, we made this for a reason. It's not random. It's uh, made for the particular reason that all of you are there that are running share hosts and not have control over the web root or the configuration of the web server. It's always been a pain to, to run anything different. So that's why we remodeled the code a little bit so it's really, really easy for everybody to be able to install on a share host. As you see, the, the composer is, is finished already. I'm installing currently on a local machine and I'm running Nginx instead of Apache. It should not, not make any difference whatsoever. Um, so let's run the first command, php artisan. This will actually ask us a few questions about setting up our database connection. No worry, uh, even if you make a mistake, you can run the command again and put your data again, or you can open the .env file and you can edit that, same, no problem. So I already made an account and I'm gonna use it for this demo. There you go, it says database configuration is changed. You can also need to run the uh, install command. There you go. You want to run migrations? Yes. Do you want to run seeds? Yes. Installation complete. So basically, you can see up here that Atwanis will set the application key as a regular Laravel application and it will try to CH mode to the proper. Um, uh, permissions, uh, the folders that it needs to be uh, able to write. Now, if uh, your host, for whatever reason, does not let the CH mode here to execute, you need to do this manually uh, in order to make the application run properly. So now, after this is done, we can check the local database and basically see, there you go, the tables are installed, so the migrations run fine. Then all we need to do is go back to the local host and run this again. And there you go, Atlantis is, is running, it's ready to, for you to, then we can check the admin, there you go, it's working. And the default, as the website says, is admin, admin, one, two, three, there you go, you're all set. So this is a very basic, straightforward application. Again, don't forget, there's no public folder just point your web server to the root of the installation and everything should be fine. Thank you very much. Goodbye.